Hello everybody, welcome to video 29. This one sees the heater box, the fan housing, and the paddles all painted and cleaned and ready to go. These need stripping, cleaning, and painting, along with the air blower and the heater matrix box, and then the bulk of the painting and restoration stuff is done. So the clutch master and the clutch slave I renewed, they're only two years old. Did that to get the vehicle up to my house. The brake master cylinder looked pretty good. It didn't look much older than that, so I think it was replaced before it was laid up. But having cleaned it, uh, I did find some damage inside. Uh, the piston seal and there was pitting, so I replaced that. Uh, I kept the pedals in. They look fine inside. So I just stripped and cleaned them ready for paint, other than taking the actual pedal lever out of the box. Everything else was stripped off. The fan cleaned up. The fan housing cleaned up, and I found um, a fair bit of rust. You can see it here in this clip. There you go. So I used body filler on that. I made sure all the rust and the active rust was gone. Uh, and then I used body filler in two stages uh, to clean that up. I came back to it with the angle grinder, uh, with the wire wheel, it cleans up the body filler very quickly and left a pretty nice finish. And by the end of it, um, when it was painted, you wouldn't actually know. Plus it's hidden from view when the wing is on, but I'm really pleased with how that came out. Um, so I put a bit on the, on the bench there, you can see to, to gauge when it was hard enough to work again. Uh, and then I've cleaned that off later. The heater, uh, the heater box was fine. That cleaned up beautifully. Nothing wrong with that at all. And the pedal boxes too. They're quite thick steel. Those ones to be nice and strong. So they clean up beautifully. Um, uh, yeah, ready for paint. A little bit awkward to get in there, uh, but used a combination of drill and the grinder and managed to get uh, all surfaces clean and rust-free, ready for painting. Um, yeah, there you go. You see me using the drill as well. Next is the accelerated linkage, that's got to come off. I left it on until the last minute because it's fairly complicated uh, in terms of angles and things. So I um, took a few photographs and made sure I knew how to put that back together before stripping it off. There are the last few things for the throttle linkage that need painting up. Uh, so that looks ready to go, but this I just need to clean these few up next. There we go, so these are a collection of small parts that make up the throttle linkage. They go from the pedal, through the pedal box, out, up, high, across the bulkhead, <laughs> back down towards the carburetor. <laughs> Hmm, does that look like... Nah. <laughs> uh, some of them on bits of wood like normal, and some of them I'm hanging them up, so I'm using welding wire now. Uh, one by one, putting it on these components and taking them around ready for paint. And you can see them disappearing. So they've all had a good clean-up, uh, or they're about to have a good clean-up. And most of them are hanging up, so I can only do the two coats. Well, those are all done, they're hung up now, so I can spray them all with just two coats instead of having to spray some and turn them over. So there's a little, little bits up there. These guys can, I can spray them in two ways, you'll see on the camera, and that. So it's ready to go, really. They all now need a wipe down, complete degrease, and then I'll do them in your normal spraying up there and leaving them here to dry. Once in the morning, once at night, and that should have it done. Right, I've got the latest paint, the Hammerite Alternative thinned down. Should be like single cream, so they say. Now it's hard to see how thick it is, or feel how thick it is, but a couple of gauges, you can see how thin it runs off the screwdriver. That's not a bad one. It's dripping already, so that suggests it's not too syrupy. There we go, drip, drip, drip. And the other one I like to gauge is how, how long it continues rotating. You see the little bubbles still going, still going, stop. Or just drag the screwdriver through it, and you can see this movement. So get the Greek yogurt and pour it into the gun. I've actually made way too much here, but I can put it back. So you can see again uh, the room slowly filling up with mist as I get this paint on these parts. Uh, one by one bringing them down there, holding a bit of a breath as I go so I can get some slightly fresher air from in the main um, garage area before stepping into the workshop to spray each component. It's taking a little longer on these pedal boxes but again it all went on pretty nicely, no runs or anything like that. Very pleased with that. Yeah, with that work. Compressor buzzing away and that is that. Done.
Right folks, they've had their first coat. And that will be... Well, there'll be another coat to come, but I'm not going to show you me painting them a second time, you've seen what it looks like. So, those are all ready to go. I'm going to end this video now because that allows me to uh, start fitting stuff. So I've had a look. I need to get the steering column on, but I can't really do that until the pedal boxes are in. I need to probably get the doors on first, then I can put these bolts through here, make sure the bulkhead is positioned as it rocks forward and back in its correct place. Then I can get the pedal boxes in, then I can get the steering column that's finished in, then I can get the fan and the heater on, and really start putting this thing together. Tune in again when we will do that. Thanks for watching.